is everybody Christine in scale 118 from the brand Auto World, uh, made out of die cast, and this version has built in lights. Now, this is another uh, pretty evil car from the silver screen, but it's not so evil as the car from Barris Johnson. All right, let's take Christine out of the box. All right, let me give you a quick look around first. Now, if you haven't seen the movie yet, it's a pretty good movie. It's a thriller slash horror movie uh, about this car and it's alive like Herbie. But it's not a happy car like Herbie. Um, she gets pretty mad very fast. Like if you insult her or you damage her, uh, she will come after you and kill you if you don't apologize. So that's the difference with the uh, Barris car. That car just wanted to kill. Now, if you want to turn on the lights, then you need to put three little batteries in here. And there's also a little slide switch here. And now the lights are on. Now this ice cold white uh, does look uh, pretty scary, but it's not very accurate to the movie. In those days, lights were warm white. So I don't know if I should change them. Please let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. All right, let's check out the dimensions. The car is 28.5 centimeters long, 7.5 centimeters high, and usually it's 10 centimeters wide, and it's 10 and a half. Okay. If we include the bumpers, then the car is a little bit longer and then the scale is almost perfect. And the weight of the car is... 1,189 gram or 41.9 ounce. Now let's start with a roll test. It does roll uh, pretty freely, but there is some wobble coming from the wheels. Let's check that out. And we don't have any working suspension. So here's the bottom of the car. Let's check out the wheels and tires. Oh yeah. A lot of play. Look at that. <laughs> wow. If this was a real car, the doors would fall off from the vibrations. Same here. Oh. And I can even feel a sharp edge on the tire here. So it's not completely flat. Don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I can feel it for sure. Oh, and here's also an edge. Okay, so that already tells me a lot about the quality. Now, let's go into a detail. And don't mind the dust and fingerprints. Now the paint job does look pretty nice. It's very smooth, not a lot of uh, orange peel. And the trimming and details look pretty nice here on the side, but uh, on the windows it's very wobbly and I can see a lot of uh, edges that aren't smoothed out. 
don't know if you can see it clearly on camera. I'm doing my best here to show you. We do have some window wipers. Now let's go to the front of the car and let me check if the number plate is the same as in the movie. And it is, it's exactly the same. Now, I do see some difference here. So the hood is not completely uh, straight. And the bumper is made out of plastic. Okay, now let's go to the rear of the car. Oh, and the hood is made out of metal. So are the fenders, the door, and the trunk. The roof is plastic. And I can also see a little bit of difference here, but not as much as in the front. The bumper is made out of I think metal. I'm not really sure. Let's take a peek inside the trunk. Just one spare wheel that is fixed into place. And here's the engine bay. Let me zoom in a bit. Bzzz. A lot of shiny chrome parts in there but it's pretty nicely detailed and i can also see uh, some wires here that's for the lights in the headlights all right let's take a look inside the interior i don't know if you will be able to see a lot since all the windows are tainted black and also the, uh, the doors don't go that very far open. Hmm. So, yeah, that looks pretty all right. I can see a radio, some dials. And also some trimming on the doors. So it's not that bad. The seats are movable and made out of hard plastic. Oh, and there is some carpet on the floor and also a uh, rubber mat that's made out of plastic. So not too bad at all. Okay. <laughs> that fence wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> 